I'm quite capable of looking after myself, thank you. It's okay. Yes, I do understand, thank you. your bags. You'll be the ones giving up and going home. Get a proper job. 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 In this struggle, there was only ever going to be one winner. One reason why there can only be one winner is climate change. We've been talking about it already today. And listen, you can walk forward or you can walk back. But you cannot walk forward and back at the same time. And you cannot fix the climate and frack for shale gas at the same time. You have to choose. 200 years ago, on the 16th of August 1819, to be precise. Our country was being run by a small number of rich and powerful men. Nobody else had a vote. But we have, we have the vote today. We have democracy today. Because our ancestors, like Roscoe and Rich and Rich, our ancestors decided to take a stand. Peterloo was one battle in a long struggle, but it was a key battle. That morning, thousands of people had gathered, just like this, to demand the vote. There were men, there were women, there were children. One of them, and this is why it means so much to me, one of them was called John Ashton. He was from Cow Hill in Oldham. And I'm proud to be a South Lancashire Ashton. That's where my roots are. 
and I'm proud to claim John Ashton of Cowhill and Peterloo as, a, as one of my ancestors. And the mood that day was peaceful and good humoured, just like the mood today. There was singing, there were flags and banners, but the authorities were alarmed. They were alarmed at the, at the numbers of people kept growing. And in panic, they unleashed the 50 mounted hussars on the people. And the hussars charged, and they drew their sabres, and they waved their sabres around them like dervishes. And 18 people that day, men, women, and one child, 18 people were killed, and hundreds went away with horrible wounds. And one of the first to fall dead that day was John Ashton. And beside him, when he fell, there was a black banner. And on the and he was carrying it's the banner he was carrying for the citizens of Mossley, Leeds and Saddleworth. I don't know if anyone is here today from Mossley, Leeds and Saddleworth. And on, embroidered on that banner were the words taxation without representation is unjust and tyrannical. Comrades, whenever, whenever the blood of peaceful men and women is shed for the good of all, it flows into a single river. It's a river that has been swelling since men and women first walked on this earth. We live we love, we toil on the banks of that river. Usually, thankfully, we can avert our gaze. There are more pleasing and more beautiful things to look upon. But we should look at the river from time to time. Because when we do, it reminds us. Nothing, nothing we cherish can ever be taken for granted. Until you go home, ladies and gentlemen, we're not going anywhere. Thank you, John. Anyone here in favour of social justice? Because protest is vital to a healthy democracy. That includes direct action. That includes acts which inconvenience or annoy others. And these sentences represented a complete betrayal of our society's values. The punishment in no way fits the crime. Never before had we seen sentences like this for peaceful protest. These men were sent to prison for truly believing in their cause, a move which would have stopped many people from exercising their right to protest at all. Can I just say that thank you for bringing climate change into your narrative for the first time the other day. Oh, that's very kind. But did you really have to go to Newcastle University to find a scientist to talk about fracking? There are local pieces who have a very contrary view about the safety. And, you know, Professor Smythe, have you heard of him, for example? He has warned about the dangerous fracking on fault lines, stuff like this. It looks to a lot of people as if you are performing as a propaganda machine for Quadrilla, I'm afraid. So, can I just... Leave it at that. But, yeah, yeah, I don't believe you, Professor Smythe is independent, though, is he? I want oh, who is? Who is, is, your, is your fellow at Newcastle independent? So many people have got links one way or the other, but Professor Smythe was actually working originally for the fracking industry, but he, since he's actually transposed two lots of maps on top of each other, he's realised that, in fact, he, you know, he's... ...subsidise and encourage people to insulate their homes properly and provide the expertise and the resources to do that. And we want them to um, make a war... ...using their communities, um, and since then people have been surrounding us and supporting us as we went through a difficult time in prison, supporting us emotionally, supporting us practically, fundraising, and also supporting us legally, the really precious and dedicated legal supporters we've had who, who have given us all the advice we needed to go through a trial, to go through a sentencing, and to get out of jail. And to pay more attention to what's happening, and that way we can all stay safe. So thank you very much.
as a lot of you here. Um, these last few weeks, and it really wasn't an action of free people. First of all, there's poor people to Belize, so big thank you to Julian Brock. with a suspended sentence, which is, whoop, 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 whoop. Um, And even that, it wasn't an action of four people. It was an action of hundreds of people, but we wouldn't be able to do it without all of you supporting us. A list of places we weren't allowed to go in there. And I say, I can't go home. I, ha I can't fulfil my bail conditions if I'm not allowed to be within 10 kilometres from a fracking site. <laughs> so I live in Sheffield, and it's fra fracking is threatening Sheffield, and right across the UK. So is there anyone here from um, Sheffield? <laughs> And Link Thank you so much to everybody. It's, it's just, I'm seeing everybody here now. It's just incredible. I don't think I've ever stood in front of so many people yeah. before in my life. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> this is amazing. Everyone should just come and stand up here for a minute and see. Yeah. And I really want to stand up here and put a shout out in solidarity for the Stansted 15. In case you don't know, the Stansted 15 are 15 people who broke onto the runway at Stansted Airport. And they locked themselves onto one very particular plane. And that plane was deporting people out of the country. And many of the people on that plane were going to be sent back to their countries that they would be facing unjust prison sentences, rape and even death. So it was an incredible action. And we have thought about them a lot through this process. They're actually in court at the moment. I think they're in their second or third week of trial. And so it's really important for us that we stand in solidarity with them. We would like to personally offer our support, the six of us, to them and their friends and family. In our cross, they run a huge program writing to prisoners who have no one else to talk to. Through those kinds of actions, we can actually start to bring people back together and we can build a society where we can get rid of prisons instead of building more. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> so some of you know that in the courtroom when the, the judges closed the doors, we sang a song. And this was from Taryn and Rich. So, we want to sing this song in support of all of the political prisoners around the world, in solidarity with the Stansted 15, and as a thank you to all of the men on D-Ring in HM, in HM Preston.
Direct Action Network for Environmental and Social Justice. Um, and so now the Grassroots Network um, works. It's just volunteers from around the country meet together, decide where we want to take action, how we'd like to take action, um, and then we take on roles and say, oh, well, I can coordinate uh, logistics or uh, outreach or media, or I would I just want to stick my arm in a you know locker on or whatever it is, and then we just together we we, we form our working groups and we make action happen. Um, in the last few years, we've shut down the biggest coal mine in the UK, um, Opencast Mine, and uh, that was a great victory for for the local campaigners there. The the coal mine didn't expand; it was going to double in size, and it didn't. Uh, and that action was part of that. Um, and then we also took action against Heathrow Airport when it wanted to expand, uh, and, and so on and so forth. And so now we're taking action against fracking. You've seen the fly, the flies are about 10th of November, National Gathering in Sheffield. We're going to plan action, we're going to take action. Um, and so these clipboards are about, um, they're mostly full up now, but there are more pages behind them. Um, if you could, if you've got a clipboard, could you hold it in the air? Because because there are a few more and they disappeared into the crowd. Uh, uh, two clipboards over there. Three clipboards over there. Any more clipboards about? There's, there's one here. There's one here. Okay. Um, and does anyone anyone want to put their name on it just um, to get the newsletter, find out how to, where to take action? Um, just stick your hand up. Anyone need to? There's a hand here. There's a few more hands here. They're trying to pump the oil up. The They're trying to frack the gas up. Keep it in the ground. What? Keep it in the ground. What? They're trying to dig the coal up. Keep it in the ground. They're trying to pump the oil up. Keep it in the ground. They're trying to frack the gas up. Keep it in the ground. What? Keep it in the ground. What? Three hundred billion years in the ground, and they go and dig it up. Spread fear with the sound of their diggers in their trucks. Our rocks they dig up and they set them on fire. Giving all the profits to the corporate liars. I had enough, and I won't keep quiet. I got a thing that's this has all up higher. Got good news for all, bringing it to inspire all of my people feeling weary and tired. Get up, get up! It's time for revolution. It's our generation who will sort out the pollution solution. Love, hard work, and respect. If we put our heads together and we use our intellect, we can reset the lost goals, reclaim the lost souls. A long, healthy future that's under our control. I'm not having a laugh, it's not a walk in the park. It's time, high time to shine our light in the dark, because they're trying to dig the coal up. They're trying to pump the oil up. They're trying to frack the gas up. They're trying to dig the coal up. They're trying to pump the oil up. They're trying to frack the gas up. Special, special for the sound system made by the man Digi, aka the Urbanizer. Our leads got to, got to respect that man. Thanks for that. Also on the mic, Solo Banton. You know, I don't think I can follow that with anything, so I might have to just say goodbye and thank you for today. Yeah, well done, everyone. Everyone did so much to stop cracking here, which is such a ridiculous thing. Thanks, everyone. And uh, yeah, keep up the good work.
Any of those clipboards? Can you please bring them to the control station? Right, this is the actual last track. Actually, actually last track.